Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. We're going to get into tomorrow's Pro Box card. Guido Sham, uh, Shram, and Vladimir Hernandez. In what's going to be a really, really interesting fight. I think it depends a lot on Vladimir Hernandez, how much is left in the tank. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to... Uh, bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to uh, make money. There's always a bull market somewhere. We're going to show you how to bring down the house. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. It's also in the banner below. Just $5 a month. Gets you all the perks, all the benefits. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you to ask the bookie anything. It gets you full access to updated bets, updated odds. Uh, if there's a prop that they've added we'll show you how to make money on the prop knockout stop and just things like that that, that the books often add just prior to the fight after i make my prediction videos so join the patreon link is in the description it's also in the banner below it's just five dollars a month and we hit the lock every week we can make hundreds or thousands or however much you bet the lock is a lock we, we lock it up pretty much every single week let me know what you guys think uh also join the other channel texas boxing scene on youtube that's texas boxing scene on YouTube, this uh, all right. Let's get into the show. Guido Shram, Vladimir Hernandez, really interesting fight. Guido is they're both interesting fighters that have very flawed styles, but very entertaining styles that can give a lot of people trouble. Guido, good movement, little too much wasted movement. He's highly athletic. He's quick. But he's, you know, he's bouncing up and down. He's he's wasting a lot of energy, and I think that could be a problem later in the fight. He's pretty athletic, good head movement. He's he's really athletic, actually. Really, a lot of head movement. He, he's not an easy target to hit. He should never hit still in this fight. He gets a little wild, and he's really unorthodox. He's unorthodox. He's awkward. He gets sloppy. He lunges in. He, he drops his hands. He'll have his chin out in the air t at times. He keeps the volume. He keeps the throwing shots, though. And he's a lot to deal with. Like I said, he's quick. He's not a huge hitter. He's fast. He's got quick feet. But his footwork's kind of poor, right? So, I, you know, I don't know how. I wouldn't, want to say, I wouldn't want to say he has good feet and confuse the matter. He's, he's, he's an athlete. He's an athlete. What, what it looks like is he's an athlete who chose boxing. He's like, you could have chose soccer or basketball, but he wanted to box. Right? I mean, he doesn't necessarily look like a fighter. He looks like an athlete who chose boxing. Uh, like I said, he, he's slop, sloppy, good athlete, not a big hitter, good volume. He's got a lot of defensive mistakes. Uh, defensive floors that he gets away with at a lower level, at the higher levels, but he's not fighting a master boxer. He's fighting a, a pressure guy, a come forward, slow, plotting guy. This, this is what makes this fight so stylistically interesting. And the odds are so close as well they should be. But the, the fight is so intriguing because you, you have two guys with very contrasting styles that, that could go together really well. This is going to be a good fight. This is going to be one of those pro box fights. Stylistically, this fight's going to be fun. Vladimir Hernandez, slow, he gets hit a lot. One guy's fast and is somewhat difficult to hit, but sloppy, and when he gets sloppy, he can really get tagged. One guy is slow and gets hit a lot. I think shram has got some advantages, but Vladimir Hernandez is a huge volume puncher, threw over 1,000 punches in the J-Rock fight. He keeps the pressure on, keeps it up, but he gets hit a lot too, and his chin is in the air too. He's just... He's defensively bad in a different way than Shram is defensively bad. This guy's not great at cutting off the ring, and Shram's going to want to use the ring. But Shram's willing to engage and willing to fight. This is what makes his fight. And, and Vladimir, uh, Vladimir, Vladimir Hernandez is a guy that just wants to sit and trade. Like that's all he does. Strong, heavy shots. Like Despite having just six knockouts in his 14 wins, his shots are heavy. 
I'm not saying his power is like thudding and he's got heavy shots. He's physically strong and durable. Stands in. He doesn't waste a lot of energy. He's 35 years old, which is a problem to me because he's been in a lot of tough fights already. And he hasn't had a ton of fights. I think he's 14 and 6. His left straight is his money shot. His straight left is just butter. I mean, it, it is money. Again, it's a little slow, but it's straight. There's good pop on it. He's accurate and clean with it. He's straight left, especially when he counters with it. Really, really accurate punch. It's his best weapon. He's straight in, straight out. There's no angles. There's no lateral movement. You're getting what you're getting. Shram's got to move. If Shram moves, he should win. If he stays in, he's going to lose. It's uh, To me, it's, it's that simple. The other, Vladimir Hernandez can outwork him. He's the bigger hitter. He's physically stronger. I think he can push him backwards, make him uncomfortable, push him into the ropes, and just win rounds with him and beat him down and maybe stop him late. If Shram doesn't use his leg, if Shram uses his legs, he's going to win the fight. Because Vladimir Hernandez isn't good enough, and I think he's old, and I think he's slowed down, slowed down a bit. And and, and it, ultimately, ultimately, that's what this is going to come down to. Is Vladimir Hernandez faded? If he is, he loses. If he's not, he could win. He probably does win. I'm betting that he's faded just enough. Let's take a look at the odds. The odds on this are close. Because this fight is close. This is a very, very close fight. I could see either guy winning. Oh, they've gone down a little bit. It went from minus 120 to minus 110. Vladimir Hernandez. Oh, Shram is now a slight betting favorite. Favorite, I guess you could say. Shram is at minus 110. We can do a one times bet on that. It's going to make us $91. It's not terrible. Decent odds. It's a 50 50 fight, and we have 50 50 odds. These odds are moving. I'd lock it now. I like SRAM. I think these odds may swim back, swing back the other way. So I, I would look to lock that in now. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I would like this fight probably to go the over. They don't have odds on that. I would probably bet on that. But SRAM, minus 110. It's it's that easy. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogs. Join the Patreon link. It's in the description. It's also uh, in the banner below. It's just $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week. Gets you all the updated uh, all the updated perks, the updated props. Ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap a fight for you. Uh, one that I haven't done. Let me know. I'll show you how to make money on any single fight. Join the Patreon below. Link is in the description. $5 a month. It is June 5th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.